pre-built, done-for-you Shopify stores. They come loaded with products ready to go. Supposedly, all you need to do is set up some ads and you can have a store that runs profitably. Now, this is a promise that I've been seeing in a ton of ads lately, and if you're like me, which the internet definitely thinks you are since you're watching a dropshipping video, you most likely have seen many of these ads yourself. And what I wanted to do after looking into some of these offers a little bit, and then combining what I see with my 15 years of experience in this business, is make a video and go over how these things actually work, whether they're worth your time, and really who they're for and who they're not. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen any of these ads yet, I'm gonna go to an ad break right now and let's see what happens. And we're back. So if you're watching this and you have YouTube Premium or you use Adblocker, I probably look crazy right now, but for everybody that did just see an ad, do me a favor and leave a comment below and let me know what that ad was for because I'm curious if YouTube is showing these to everybody. Okay, with that being said, let me go ahead and share the truth about these business opportunities, the truth about these pre-built stores. Now, if you see these ads, you're gonna notice a couple different things. One, they are either very inexpensive, maybe 10, 17, 20 dollars, and supposedly what you get in exchange for that is a pre-built store, again, loaded with products. Even better, it might seem, some of these offers are showing that you get a store for zero dollars because Shopify or whatever e-commerce platform they're built on offers the provider an affiliate commission, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with affiliate commissions. We get them from Shopify and other companies too. But in exchange, they say we're gonna give you a free store already built. It has products loaded on. Again, it's basically ready to go, okay? And again, if you saw one of those ads, you can go through the sales pages and see how they show it off. Now, what I wanna do is basically address something that I wish someone would have addressed with me when I first got into e-commerce. Again, this is back now in 2007 when I first got started. Now, I feel like I almost got lucky back then because I read the book, The 4-Hour Workweek, thanks Tim Ferriss. There was a chapter on e-commerce and I wanted to sell online. I didn't know there were companies out there that could build stores for you, at least not ones that didn't charge six figures. And I was 21 years old, so no six figures then. So all I did was basically sign up at that point for a Yahoo store store, built my own site for 29 bucks, learned the hard way through trial and error. Now, back then, if I would have seen one of these offers online and I had the same mindset of I want to be in e-commerce, my thought would be either, wow, this is free or this is $20 or less. What do I have to lose? Let me sign up. It seems too good to be true, but let me give this a try. And then knowing what I know now, what most likely would have happened is I would have went all in with it, gave it one month, two months, maybe three months, saw that things weren't working for me. And then I personally would have probably said, you know what? This whole e-commerce stuff doesn't work. This isn't for me and my life trajectory would be completely different if I would have started that way, okay? So what I wanna share with you is why that is and what it is about these offers that maybe could actually be helpful for you, but most likely what is going to hurt you in the long run. Because I don't want you to be the guy or the girl that gets signed up, that thinks, what do I have to lose? And of course, it's not really money, but it is time and sometimes it's even that mindset of, wow, this stuff actually works. Sometimes what you have to lose is the actual opportunity because what you started with is something that really doesn't have much of an upside. Now I wanna turn over here and recap what we covered a few weeks ago in a video called Stop Dropshipping. If you haven't seen that yet, it has really good feedback. I'll link to it below, but this is how to build a real business. And what this shares are the same seven steps that I use every time I launch a new store and the same thing that I teach our students inside of the Dropship Blueprint. It is these seven steps every time with sub steps in each of them that need to be followed to have the highest probability of success and to take out luck and other variables that are gonna lead to what I mentioned earlier, basically disheartening results and thinking this stuff doesn't work. Now, I wanna compare this with those done for you offers and again, Think of this as me sharing what I know now that I didn't know back then, almost as if I was talking to myself, okay? So I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you might have seen those done for you Shopify store offers, you're interested just like I would have been. And again, I wanna talk about how all of these things would apply to that and if it's something that actually could work for you, okay? So first thing that is super important with the way that I build stores is niche selection, right? And in niche selection, what we're basically doing is just brainstorming products that we think we could sell. And I have a whole bunch of criteria. I have other videos on that. I'll link to them below. But we're not just saying, oh, 
this man online, this woman online that has a done for you store offer says I should sell jewelry. Yeah, I'll sell jewelry. Instead, we're actually taking time to brainstorm many, many, many product ideas. In fact, I recommend at least 50. And again, we're not just taking somebody's word saying I can have a pre-built pet supply store. Let me just take that and see what happens. It's very important that you spend time in niche selection and don't find niches by Googling things like products that drop ship online, or again, just choosing something that somebody already built and is giving away for free or selling for 10 or 20 bucks. Now, this is probably one of the most important things. Why I would direct people away from the specific type of done for you Shopify stores that I'm referring to in this video. And this is what I call market research. Now, you might have seen videos before from other people online where they talk about how they basically do research and they do it by testing products. And testing products basically means running a bunch of ads to live product pages on your store, seeing if people are gonna buy them basically and see if it's something that could be profitable and then scale it, right? That is the last thing I would ever do. And the reason is because before I even build a store, right, before we do anything else, we wanna make sure that out of those niches that we brainstormed, we can actually research them and we can have proven numbers, we can have proven data to show that this niche is in demand, to show that suppliers in this niche are dropship friendly, to show there is not too much competition at the product level, to show it's evergreen. It's a lot more than that, but as you can imagine at this point, right, there's a lot that we do here. In fact, I probably spend almost the most time of this whole process per store in this phase because the thought process here is if we're gonna do all this extra work and ideally build a business that's going to grow and compound on itself for ideally decades, whether we own it, we give it to our kids, we sell it, whatever it may be, we don't wanna just take some random product, don't do research and say, okay, let's see what happens. That's not the right mindset, and again, for the specific types of ads I've been seeing and the offers they're making, they're basically giving people a list of 10 or 20 options saying, here's the store, it has 30 products, we'll give it to you for free. See the difference, right, already? I hope that is enough to make it clear that if you actually want to do this and turn it into something real, you gotta spend the time doing the research yourself. Now, you might be thinking like, Okay, Anton, that, that, that does make sense, right? I shouldn't just assume that whatever somebody gives me is going to work out. I should take responsibility for my business, my future business, and do the research myself. But what about your, your third step here, right? Create your store. And fair enough, right? This is where I'll say that some of these offers might actually be useful to you. Now, again, my first store I ever built, I, I was in a library with my, uh, my laptop and I built it on Yahoo stores and it was the ugliest website I think that was ever built, but it did work and I did do it myself. But if you are intimidated, let's say by Shopify, but you've already done steps one and two, right? You have proven, you have a proven niche, you know what suppliers you do wanna sell for, but the Shopify thing is really, you know, it's, it's a sticking point for you. Maybe you see one of these offers and let's just say you do wanna sell pet supplies, a specific type that you already proved through your research, and you see an offer where you can get a store created, what is going to be a pre-built template that most likely you know, is already out there. Well, maybe to you, it is worth zero dollars that you have to pay, because again, the seller gets an affiliate commission, or maybe to you it is worth 10 or 20 or 40 bucks, whatever it is, because then you have at least a starting point and you're not trying to figure out color schemes and uh, you know different banners and everything like that yourself. So for those people, I would say, you know what? Those offers probably do make sense. The problem is, and the reason I'm making this video is because for most people, they see those ads and they see it as the opportunity, the whole thing, right? The whole package. If I was the person that fell into that bucket I was just talking about of have a proven idea that's researched, want a store, you know what? I would get the store. I would tell them don't even upload the products for me, those 30 or whatever they give you. And if they did, I would delete them right away because those are not gonna be the winners. The winners are gonna be the ones you find through research. Now, moving on even further, guys, for anyone that you know just wants more clarity on this and why, again, for most people, I don't recommend taking these offers is supplier approvals. When it comes to supplier approvals, this is something that you wanna do yourself through your market research once you know what brands are actually proven in your niche, what products are popular, what people are buying, what's, uh, what suppliers are dropship friendly. That is when it is time to get suppliers. The whole thing with store optimizations, I do recommend doing this yourself too. Module five of my program, The Dropship Blueprint, shares everything we do to turn visitors into buyers. And then of course, getting traffic, this is another part where these done for you Shopify store offers kind of leave you hanging, right? Maybe they give you like a video on Facebook ads or something like that, but then you have a store with 30 products that you don't even feel confident about because you didn't do the research. You have 
probably hundreds of competitors that bought the same thing, and then you guys are all running the same type of Facebook ads when you don't know how to use Facebook ads yet. So. Don't do it. Um, finally, outsourcing and automating. Again, you're not even gonna get to that point if you never make profit. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of my feedback, guys. Um, and again, what inspired me to make this is the fact that since I know I've been seeing these ads so much, I know you are too, unless again, you're using ad blockers. And I don't want to you know, call out any companies and say like they're scams or anything for giving these things away or selling them because I don't believe that's true if they're delivering what they promise. I just wanna let you know what you're actually getting with these services basically with these opportunities in my opinion. And I wanna let you know that again, if you are serious about this, if you really wanna build a business that lasts, something again you can eventually hand down to your family, something you can eventually sell, the thing that's gonna turn into that isn't gonna be a store with 20 or 30 products preloaded that takes off and makes you rich. Again, if you need help with web design, some of those services might be valuable to you, but even then, you know, maybe you try it yourself first and if you see one, try it out. So anyway guys, I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know by leaving a comment below. I apologize for my, uh, my voice in this one. I was just on a two and a half hour coaching call and it always goes out after that, but hope you got value anyway. So thank you, I appreciate you, and I will talk to you in the next video. See everybody.